how do we get robots to work in the real world? Borrowing from nature's playbook is probably a good idea. I study both locomotion in organisms and in robots, and my work here is basically split three ways between building robots, looking at animals, and doing the applied math that ties these two worlds together. One of, of our projects right now is called Foambot. We're looking at a way to make robots build other robots under remote control. The reason we call it Foambot is because it uses a urethane foam that hardens to connect those robot parts together. There's a whole class of problems robotic missions can face. I refer to it as unknown challenge missions. It's basically when you know you're sending a robot out there, but you don't know what that robot will need to do. And the easiest way is to send a kit that can become whatever robot you may want. Another project or, or collection of activities in our lab is looking at the relationship between robot form and function, what makes robots move well in the environment, and what are effects of trying different morphologies. And by using modular components, it's, it's pretty easy to change the shape of the robot and try out different things. In analyzing animal gates and animal locomotion, I also contribute to the work that people do in human biomechanics. So anything we can learn about making people walk better, run better, maintain their mobility is extremely valuable. I like having people in all sorts of levels in, in their academic development in the lab. I aim very much for, for people who are independent and able to manage their time and manage others and give them the, the chance to, to do their own thing. I hope students get an appreciation for how many different disciplines need to intermesh smoothly in building a robot and how important it is to get not just the control theory right, not just the electronics right, the mechanical design right, and really understand the goal and the task. Thank you.